Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be using my Pampered Chef Quick Cooker to make a recipe out of my new keto cookbook. I will drop the link below for that book that I got. And today's recipe is beef stroganoff. So we're going to try this in our quick cooker and see how it goes. Alright, and I hope y'all enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Okay, so the first thing the recipe tells us to do is select saute on our selections. Now this one is a little bit different than the Instapot so we're gonna go over here to sear. So we're just gonna turn this knob until the blue lights up where it says sear. And then you're gonna customize the time and I'm gonna customize it to... I'm gonna put it on three minutes because we just need it to heat up just enough to get a little bit hot and then we're gonna push start. Okay, so while we're waiting for the pot to heat up, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our onion. It calls for half a cup of diced onion, but I really like onions, so I'm just gonna use this small onion right here. The pan is hot. We're gonna go ahead and add in our one tablespoon of butter. And we're gonna heat that up until the butter is nice and foamy. It calls for us to add in our onion and then our garlic as well. So we're gonna go ahead and add the onion in. I'm gonna add three cloves just because I really love garlic. And stir it up real good. You know, just let it cook a little bit until um, the onions are a little bit tender. And this smells so good right now. The next thing our recipe calls for is one and a half cups of chopped mushrooms. So I'm going to use this handy food chopper from the Pampered Chef. Absolutely love this thing. And we're just going to chop these up really well. So all you do is you just hit this little thing. I don't know if you can see. But it chops it up, you know, pretty fine. So we're just going to make sure we have one and a half cups. Also for the mushrooms, we're going to put those in there. You also need stewed beef. So we're going to put that in there. A little bit of salt. I like to use this pink Himalayan salt. It's really good. It has a lot of nutrients. And add some of that in there. Need some pepper. Add the most important ingredient, um, water. Anytime you're using a pressure cooker, you have to add at least one cup of liquid. In this case, I would have used water. A lot of times I use chicken broth. Beef broth probably would have been good with this too, but I don't have any. So we're going to add that in. And I'm just going to give it a good stir real quick. And then we will get to the pressure part. Okay, the recipe tells us to select manual or pressure cook and adjust the pressure to high. So on this Pamper Chef product, we're going to push custom. I'm going to do time. And we're going to set it to 20 minutes. And then we're going to come over here and push start. When this is going around like this, that just means the pressure is building up. Okay, so now our quick cooker has released pressure. And the way that we know this is that this red little thing right here is down. That means there's no more pressure in the pot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and push cancel on this. And then you can go ahead and remove the lid. So we're going to turn it counterclockwise. And that looks so good, but we're not done yet. We've got to add a few more ingredients and then we'll be all finished. Our quick cooker on the sear um, function there. We're going to hit start. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add in the sour cream. And then we're just going to give that a good stir. Stir it in there really well. Okay, we're going to add another xythum gum. It says just to shake a little bit at a time, just so you can let the sauce thicken. So we're going to shake that in. Okay, so while I'm waiting on the sauce to thicken, I'm going to go ahead and make up my cauliflower rice. 
So I got this today. It's Cauliflower Medley by Green Giant. So I dumped my cauliflower rice in this Pampered Chef microwave cooker, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to it because you do need to create some steam. Come over here and we're gonna put our lid on. We put the lid on and we're gonna put it in the microwave and we're gonna put it in there for about five minutes. 